not get rid of and they would just slowly go around the whole game and they would take forever to kill. Boom, double kill. Hey guys, what is going on? We are going to be running the Revenant in the traditionalist Revenant specifically. Someone kind of pointed it out to me that the Revenant does have the traditionalist skill. So I was like, okay, let's run this thing and see how it goes. Okay, we're here on Castle Map and we do have three armor kits. And right off the bat, look at our HP, 853,000 HP. And that's not including our physical shields, not including, you know, our our drone shielding and things like that. So it's pretty darn impressive. And if the enemy team gets three beacons, we get some defense point boost because of our pilot skills. But we have no teleportation. So this thing is kind of just a tank right now. And I guess a good comparison would be this thing versus the tank Fenrir. I can't imagine it's going to be better than the Fenrir. But we don't know because I haven't tried it. Okay, here we go. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Okay, yeah, obviously we're running the sonic weapons here. Not the best choice against shell bots. But we're going to try to deal with what we got. What we got. Okay. Last stand triggered. There we go. Whoa! He almost pushed me off the edge. Boom, kill. It'll be interesting to see if this traditionalist skill really impacts the game. Because if you remember when the Falcon first got its traditionalist pilot skill, it kind of changed Champion League. Because everyone started running the Falcons just because they were just like a block you could not get rid of. And they would just slowly go around the whole game and they would take forever to kill. Boom, double kill. Okay, we're gonna heal up here. Okay, healing, healing, healing. Okay, we're back up, we're back up. Jeez, both of our physical shields are blown off right now, but we're just pushing forward and seeing what we can do. I guess the one downside is since we can't teleport, right, we don't have all that resistance to, you know, EMPs and those effects that we would have if we would have our ability. This drone shielding is obviously helping us out a little bit, though, because it helps out every build. Um, we're getting locked down, but geez, we're pushing forward here. Let's push. It's funny because the robot itself lasts way longer than the physical shields. So these shields probably, these shields came off like forever ago and we're still moving around and pushing forward. Who's shooting at me? Is Hiroshi? Go away, Hiroshi. Annoying. Oh, what is going on? Oh, something's lagging. Oh, man. Bit of lag there. That kind of messed us up. Oh, man. Oh, we died. We're going to die. That was annoying with that Fabner, though. I should have been able to kill him, but it was lagging. Either my end or his end. And it didn't... The damage didn't register. Okay, geez, we just kind of pushed straight ahead with that Revenant. You guys saw how many robots it took to take that thing down. That thing could be a potential force in Champion League. I was never a huge fan of the Revenant ability. I mean, it's kind of okay. You teleport to an enemy, you teleport in front of them, and then it's, you know, it's... It's not even the best teleportation ability in the game. Considering there's the Demeter, the Phantom, the Scorpion, and those teleporting. That teleporting is a lot better. Um, yeah, but it'll be... Ooh, okay, that... did We did not last long in that, I was June. Okay, um, let's drop in our... I guess our Demeter with the Scorcher. Okay, let's go teammate. Oh, teammate Demeter too. Let's gang up on this. Stupid Ravana. All right, good job, teammate. I don't want to use... Uh, I guess we have to use our base shit there. Oh, my God. We just wasted all... That was... 
dumb. Why did we do that? Okay, okay. And jeez, I really have to... Whoa! That Ao Ming is tearing us up. Come on, get to safety. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess... I guess the enemy team is just dropping in, like, all their titans right now. See, this is where it becomes very advantageous to have two hangar decks. Oh. Yeah, we timed that perfectly. We were getting hit, so we jumped off the bridge and then teleported right as we jumped off. So then we teleported in the air. That should be a challenge to see how close you can get to dying and then teleporting with the Demeter. That's pretty funny. But yeah, as I was saying, so this is where having multiple hangar decks can be a little more, a bit more advantageous, right? Because the Titans, because depending on the Titans you have, like these guys can sit back here and just shoot all day. Meanwhile, I got the shotgun Grom on the Sharanga. Okay, I have a teammate Demeter here. I'm trying to kind of. We should rotate shields. Let's rotate shi Yo! Oh my. I thought he had his shield, but he didn't. And then I had my shield and I should have activated it. That was peak stupid. Uh oh, that is a Muromitz. Okay, let's back up because we do not have a quantum sensor, so let's wait a second. Okay, we kind of just stole that kill, but we're going to push up on this left side here. Let's go. Okay, let's first order of business take out this Muromitz. We'll neutralize that Hawk. Let's get this beacon back. And then. Okay, we're gonna wait for that. Okay, you know what? That Alming is not looking at us right now, so let's sneak. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, he's shooting. She's shooting us now. Okay, okay, we're safe for a second. We're safe for a second. Oh, we're dealing a little bit of damage, but he's backing up. He is backing up. Oh, we might have to hit this. Ugh. Fly just went on my face. What the? What the heck was that? Jeez, we actually, we're behind the beacon bar right now. This is a bit annoying. This, is, this reminds me of old school days in a bad way when people would just be stuck on their sides of the maps and you couldn't brawl. Uh, okay, we're gonna hit our Mantis battleship just for a bit of protection. Oh, this boom, easy kill from that Aujun. What's this guy, what does he think he's gonna do? He's got a leech. That's just dumb. What is he? He's, he thinks he's gonna take me out? Okay, my teammate will get that. Ooh, enemy team might be mecking out here. We might be getting a bit lucky. Oh, come on. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, he's gonna kill me though. Right, he killed me. Oh, now we have our crap Cerberus. I do not like the Cerberus. For some reason, I like, I like the Boa better. Maybe nostalgia, but uh, let's. I think that's gonna be it. So let's just push forward. Cerberus does have these long, weird legs, but pretty decent speed, I must say. Okay, this game's gotta be over. Just about over. Whoa, pushed him back there. And that is game. All right, we got the victory. We got the victory. We got some tank traditionalist revenant going. Let's see what kind of damage we did. Like. I'm gonna think it's a bit lower damage game. 3.7 million, yeah. 
yeah, it wasn't too high there. But, what can I say about the Revenant? I mean, obviously, the this is kind of the go-to build right now is the Toxins, just because of, you know, the fast reload, the heavy damage, the corrosion effect. And I find it's probably best to run this thing in 1v1 situations. So try to isolate enemies. And obviously don't just run at a group of them. Because some people make that mistake with even the, the you know, the tank Fenrir. They'll run it straight into the enemy home beacon. And it's like, yeah, you're going to get killed because it can't take four enemies. It's very difficult for one enemy to take you out. But four can probably do it. Trying to pull these guys away. Boom, killed. There we go. And, okay. The corrosion. We got that guy's last stand triggered up. Dead. Okay, beacon captured, push forward. Over 800,000 HP. Okay, let's push here. I guess we're making a push for this beacon. Reloading, oh, we got, oh, we got the kill off the corrosion, eh? I feel like it'd be cool if Pixonic introduced an active module, maybe just call it like armor mode and you hit it and it gives you like temporary extra armor on your robot. I think that would be a cool concept. Kind of like in Crisis. If you ever play that game Crisis, armor mode. Da -da -da. Whoa, what the? That is major lag. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. What do you guys think about the traditionalist Revenant? Is it overpowered, underpowered? Do you think it's an impact game? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. Until next time, peace. See you guys next video.